few people have been talking about uh, disc resurfacing. I wanted to uh, show a video of my machine and how it works. It's uh, one of the top of the line machines. It's a little more expensive than like a JFJ machine, um, but does a really nice job and it's almost hands off. You don't have to uh, change pads out and everything in between the cycles. But uh, let me just show you how it works. I have a, a disc here that needs to be repaired. First off, here's the machine. It's a uh, Echo Auto Smart. And uh, as you can see on top, there's uh, five uh, cycles you can use. Meaning one is just for fingerprints, uh, stuff like that. Two is light scratches, three is little medium scratches. Four is heavy and five is really scratched. Um, and then you have the stop button there. And each cycle is 30 seconds long. You have uh, 30 seconds. Each one runs for 30 seconds. So the uh, longest you could have is two and a half minutes if you go with five. And uh, what you have on the back is you have a, uh, a water pump and then you have a pump for the uh, um, wax chemical or, or buffing compound. And uh, this is your uh, water line that comes, brings the water up. I have a water jug down here. And in the water, you mix this chemical here. Um, I think it makes the water slick, so it, there's no wiping of the disc when you bring it out. And then you have the com uh, rubbing compound. And you have four little sanding pads. You have a yellow sanding pad, which is the, uh, the lightest sanding. You have the green, which is the medium and the red is the heavy sanding pad and then you have the buffing pad that just does the final buff when you take it out and you have a uh, drain hose hose for the water the excess water that comes out and to get started you uh well first off there's a power switch on the back and then to get started you just press the red button the drawer opens and there you can see the, uh, the buffing pads in there it's on a wheel that turns and it goes to each pad as it needs it first off you take your uh, disc out and I'll show you this disc if the scratches will show up but you can see it's got some uh, light scuffs on there this is not that bad of a disc I didn't have anything at the moment that was really scratched up. But you lay the disc in the thing and for this disc I'm probably just going to run it on three. But you basically just close it up and get the button. And uh, it's a little bit loud but anyhow it'll run through the cycle and then uh, I'll uh, come back when we get to the uh, end. So this disc is just about finished. The door, is, the door will automatically pop open. The disc is laid there. Now you take the disc out and it is completely dry. Uh, you don't have to uh, uh, do any wiping or buffing afterwards. Sometimes there'll be a little bit of water right here around the center, but uh, most of the time not. And, as you can see, if I can get it to show up, the disc is looks perfect. It's light and new. It's uh, back to the way it was when you first opened the opened it up when it was new. And uh, so you can see this machine works really good. Um, as you probably know, these are a little expensive. Uh, I got mine back before their price went up. I think I paid about. 4500 for mine. It may have been 4800 but uh, now I think they're a, a thousand or, or so more than that. But they do have a cheaper machine that instead of having this turret here, you only have one pad down here. And between each cycle, you open the door and you just change these out. And 
it's a little bit cheaper of a system. And then they have another one that I don't even know exactly how it works. It's a little cheaper. But uh, this machine has been a really good investment for me. I've had it for probably six or seven years. I only had to send it to them one time though. Had a problem with the uh, motor in it, but uh, it was covered under warranty. So that's the uh, end of the video and uh, I'll uh, share this if anybody wants to watch it.